So the social supermarket idea really started 18 months ago in a conversation with the Wellington City Mission. And it was really a conversation that said, what could we do with the traditional food bank model? And how could we take it further forward so that it was a really dignified, really respectful, really engaging model for people to get food support, but also engage with the wider support. So a social supermarket is a lot like a, um, like a regular supermarket actually, but it's based in the community for those who might not be able to participate in normal retail shopping every week. Families come in, they're able to pick the foods that they want and need, um, and you know, from a great range, like they would in a normal supermarket. So we didn't know everything when we started, but together we created this model. And here we are with the fifth of these. Uh, we think there could be 20 or more in the North Island. We don't know, but it is just such an amazing model. And Wellington has seen four and a half thousand Wellingtonians go through and get support. And a number of those now no longer need that support, which is the thing we love the most about it. So if we talk about why choice is important, um, I can only imagine that if I had to ask for help for food for the first time, it's a pretty daunting process. With a social supermarket, um, we range them with about 800 products, um, and they're the exact same products in the local supermarket as well. So families can pick the things that, that they like, that meet their cultural needs. We want that experience when I have had to ask for help to feel really dignified, um, and that's what a social supermarket does for people. We know that permanently there is going to be a need for two things. One is a healthy and affordable food for every New Zealander and the other one is supporting local communities. Those are the two promises that drive us to do this. Uh, and we think that there is going to be permanently in every community points of time where people are just going to need help to avoid falling off the cliff or just getting up and out of the situation they're in. Above and beyond anything else, the teams and the volunteers who come and make this happen get real sense of pride that the work that we're doing is more than just us. And it's fun, right? It's, it's getting right into the communities that need it most, helping in a meaningful way and kind of what more can you ask for? It's really cool.